61850 protocol is mainly used in the power industry. It's, uh, it's more than just a protocol. I, I say it's like a suit of uh, protocols. It, uh, it involves not just the protocol, but the process on how things are done. So it's designed to facilitate the design and the maintenance of, of a power station. We also had another problem uh, recently involving uh, 61850. Uh, this one had to do with a point that uh, refused to come through. All the other points were coming through just fine. Everything was fine except for this point. And we left it until the very end, until it was the last point that we had to fix. And everybody had proof that they had done the right thing and they had mapped it correctly and that the point was configured correctly. Like we used uh, third-party tools to verify that. And it worked just fine. But it didn't work for the system. So push came to shove and then we had to start investigating what, what's going on. Because it looks right everywhere. It's configured right in the CID files. It's mapped correctly to the SCADA master. It's mapped correctly to the, to, to the IED. So what's going on? There's an object with dead band and there is one object with the instantaneous value. So the object with the dead band was being imported, but the object with the instantaneous value wasn't. And then we realized that the manufacturer uh, tried to do us a favor because if we actually imported the instantaneous value, that would mean that this value would be transmitted all the time because it's got no dead band, so it would be transmitted whenever it changed. So to prevent that, uh, well, the software manufacturers, they refuse to import the instantaneous values because they know that it will cause problems. So well, what we had to do was to use the, the, the buffered or the, or the dead banded value. And that solved our problems. <laughs> so, moral of the story, don't use instantaneous values. <laughs> because they will, if, if your software uh, developer allows you to do it, it will give you issues because it will send the data all the time, non-stop. So, they, they did do us a favor, it's just we didn't realize it. Oh, 61850 is getting better and better every year. Like with uh, revisions, it's just getting better. So, have faith. <laughs> and when you find a problem, yeah, you might, you might have to resort to Wireshark to like first think through why it could be, but ultimately you might have to resort to Wireshark because you will not find just like super simple problems that the problems will be quite unusual.